Apnil, um, so as is the thing with, with any, something new that you want to try, whether it is a surgery or whether it is something that excites you, you've got to be willing to get the PowerPoint to start and then hope that it loads up properly and then hope that it plays and then hope that the pinwheel disappears. Oh, well done. Right. So you've got to have the right gear in place before you take the plunge. And this is what I'm going to be talking about. Some of the things I like to do is jumping off high places just for the heck of it, just for the fun of it. People ask me why I do it. My father asks me why and I have no answer. I just don't know why. But it gives you that sense of freedom that sense of a thrill and the sense of achievement. You go without any restraint and into the water. Then you want to do something more. Now, I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of you all who've done bungee jumping here. There are some who may not have. Trust me, bungee jumping is one activity which will transform your life forever. It will make you see things in a different perspective. That 10 seconds that you're standing on the edge before you jump is one of the most exhilarating. I've done about 15 jumps now, but I still have that little bit of a sphincter contraction when I'm standing on the edge uh, of the jump. This was my first jump that I did. As you can see, the date at the top over there, it's in March 2015. This is an, in Rishikesh, which is the, the tallest uh, bungee in India. Uh, you can see that uh, there are three different safety checks. So the people who think that these things are even if you die, what a way to go. Just think about it. People are going to be talking about you forever. Right? I mean, heart attacks are all dead. So don't worry about that. Okay? The three independent checks that are done. This was my first time, so I'm really sitting there nervous. I had decided I don't care what happens, I'm going to jump, right? And I underestimated the fear. I thought, TK, what is it? You know, I mean, everything is done. You see how slowly I'm walking. You see how reluctant I am to go to the edge. Now he's going to have to show me. Okay, look, you know what? You need to go. He's pushing me with his feet. The thing with bungee jumping, I must tell you all right now, that this is almost the point of no return. So this place in Rishikesh, they give you two opportunities. So they bring you to the edge, they'll count to three, and they'll leave you. They're not allowed to push you. If you jump, great. If you don't jump, they'll make you sit down again on that stool that you saw. They'll give you a little bit of pep talk and make you walk back to the edge. And one, two, three. You don't jump, you walk back, you don't get a refund. Right? So your money is gone. So you may as well jump. And being a Gujarati, you know how we are with money. So there's no way I was not going to jump. So as you can see, I'm moving really slowly. And it looks like I'm scared, but I am. But also my feet are tied. And they have a safe. The red colored cord that's in front is a safety harness. Now he's going to keep telling me, move in the front. Move. I'm looking down. You're seeing how tall, how high up you are. The wind is blowing. And you're really, really, really scared. He then, and you can see, look at me, look at me. I'm like, you know what, no, I don't think I want to do this. I think I'm going to fall. And you feel I'm going to fall over, which is strange because that's what you want to do. And then he asks you to spread your hands out, almost like a crucifixion, at the count of three. And then you say, you know what, I'm doing this. And there you go, right? And you just go for it and you try. The harder you fly, the more you bounce back up. You almost become vertical and they make you bounce for two or three times and then they lower you down. Once you've done one jump, you'll want to do another. And my, as Ashok had said earlier in the morning, kida. So my kida was to go better, bigger, higher. So I landed up in Nepal, which has the tallest bungee in Asia. I traveled from Kathmandu. It took me seven and a half hours to reach the place called the last resort, which is where the bungee is. And it took me six hours to come back all for a jump that lasted about maybe two minutes. And this was really cool because it's over a river. You can see that. And this is where we're jumping off. There is a platform. So it's a lot less enclosed or protected. As you can see, there I am. Right, this time I worn a full pant. I don't know why. But the t-shirt is the same, interestingly, uh, as it was the last time. We'll just come a bit more of this thing. 
Oh, I don't know. I just, I don't think I'm doing as well at work. That's all. But anyway, um, so there you go once again. And they had a GoPro as well on your wrist. So you could see a different angle from where you do it. it this is 160 meters, which is about 52 floors. So you can imagine standing just in a balcony and looking down is, you know, quite scary. And there you go. Right? Off you go. And the feeling once again is you come right up to the river. You don't go into it. And you bounce back. And that again gives you the buzz. Again, ye dil mange more. So the next thing I decided was, abhi to har hal mein skydive karna hai. So I decided, right, this is what we're going to do. We'll go for a skydive. So I used the excuse of attending the current concepts meeting in Las Vegas so that I could get my skydive done. Because I decided that before the end of 2016, I'm going to jump off a plane. This is the, the tallest skydive uh, in the world. And they take you up to 15,000 feet. Um, and it's, it's quite a feeling because they give you an altimeter uh, which you wear on your wrist. So as you're going up in the plane, the plane is a really kakadu plane. It has no doors, nothing. It just is a little, this is some eight or ten of us in it. It takes off and it starts climbing. And you start looking and I was looking down and I'm saying, are we there yet? And he's saying, no, we're only 3,000 feet up. And I'm like, oh man, like 15,000. Then slowly I started to realize I'm breathing hard. And I thought, am I getting scared? Because I thought of myself as being quite cool because I've done all these bungee jumps. And then I saw my instructor breathing hard as well. It's because the air is getting rarefied as you go higher and higher up. Um, I'll just forward a bit of this, if I can. Yeah, there we go. So they scoot you to the front of the, uh, the, this thing. You have to do in a tandem unless you do a course. And then you, this is the moment, right? So you're sitting on the edge of the plane. You're looking down 15,000 feet up, the Las Vegas desert uh, under you. And then off you go. It's a 53 second free fall. Not the best picture because you'll see your cheeks flapping and it makes you really look quite ugly. Not that I'm good looking, but it makes you look even worse. But that feeling is something else. It's a free fall. You're, you're just wondering, is the parachute going to open on time or not? Right? And we had bets before I left. All my fellows, everyone had said, I want your car, I want your house, I want this and I want that. And when the parachute actually opened, the first thing I did was I looked at the camera and I said, the parachute opened. So I live to tell the tale. The, the safety features in all of these are absolutely incredible. So got, do not let the safety aspect of it put you off. If you ever get an opportunity to do any of this, you grab it with both hands and do it. It makes you a better person. It gives you a lot more insight into your life flashes by you, right? And so whenever you're in a stressful situation, say in the operating theater, Right? You think of all those moments and suddenly you feel a bit better about yourself and are able to move forward. The only thing is that there is some degree of fitness that is required. The reason being, the bungee jumps that you saw, right? you go down 80 meters, you got to climb back up 20 minutes up a mountain to come back up to where you started from. There is no lift to take you up. So you've got to be in some form of, of physical fitness, which is my other passion that I tend to do a lot of. And you've got to go to the gym, you've got to try to lift weights, you've got to try to make yourself a little bit fitter uh, so that you are able to do all of this with an amazing degree of ease. The thing, it, it's not, it's, it's a mindset thing. You, if you're reasonably fit and you've got a tough head, you will do it. There is absolutely no question about that. You've got to grab it by both hands, you've got to move it forward. You've got to keep going forward and fly the flag of fitness, adventure, and excitement. I hope some of you will at least after this go and do a bungee jump. Thank you very much.